set this out, we wanted to create an Irish tech brand that could go global, that would inspire a generation that up until now has really been in danger of just becoming users and not creators. To be literate and fluent, you have to be able to code, because otherwise you can't do something new and creative. I'd like to make like virtual pet simulation things, you know, where you have to take care of your virtual pet online. Uh, I'm, I'm working on a game and he, he's working on a um, flash game as well. Space, space, space. Uh, uh, my game is called Infection. Uh, he's going to sell it on the app store, yeah. but I'm just going to have mine uh, for uh, on new computer. Yeah, new ground yeah. probably. And uh, what languages, what languages did you learn today? HTML. HTML. HTML today? Yeah. And CSS. Yeah. And, uh, what kind of things have you learned since you started doing Jojo? Uh, HTML, CSS, uh, for example, media queries, uh, making uh, mobile sites, uh, Python, now we're is what we're doing now. It's fantastic, it really is. I mean, the age of 10 to be learning HTML, coding and CSS, it's, it's fantastic. I bring my own laptop as well, and I, I do a little bit on the side here, sitting at the, at the side of the room, so I'd be keeping up with it at the same time, so I can help her out if, at home or whatever if she's got questions, then I, I've learned a bit as well. We're, uh, we're introducing our Merifage system, so you know, young people can earn Merifages and you know, basics of HTML or open source or teaching people how to make websites and so on, and then they go up in their belt system, so they go from white belt to black belt and coding, um, and we are now have dojos who are contributing back uh, materials and basically building up a kick-ass uh, international network of dojos. It's just like the train and work its way up. Because it's free, because it's very simple, you know, we have one rule, above all be cool. And is Dojo cool? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because of that simplicity and it's free, it can scale infinitely. I mean, how many out-of-work programmers are there in the world? I would say zero.